Well, welcome back. This is Daryl, and uh, we're going to tie our third fly in the series of trout flies for an upcoming South Carolina upstate trout trip, which we still have some openings for. If you're interested and are in the area, uh, let me know. Uh, the fly we're going to tie today is another nymph. It's going to be a stone fly nymph. I'm going to, you can tie anywhere from a 12 to a 16. I'm going to tie it on a size 16 because that's kind of what is recommended. Kind of recommended in the South Carolina trout fishing uh, handbook that they produced. Uh, you probably get it online in a PDF or if you're visiting. Um, but, uh, but they have little hatch charts in here and things like that. Some suggestions on flies and the time to throw them. You know, there's little little maps in the area for where you're going to go. And the area that we're planning on fishing, if you want to fish just in South Carolina, is in this book. Also, uh, we are bordering Georgia, so you can fish some Georgia waters if you wanted to. But anyway, let's take a look at the fly and uh, see what it looks like. Well, this here is our uh, yellow stonefly nymph that we're going to tie. And uh, I think it's a pretty easy tie. But uh, why don't we go ahead and get started? And I'll explain the materials as I go along. On there. The hook I'm going to use is a 3x long nymph. In this case, it's. Uh, Size 16, I think it's a J Stockard 235. Turn that light down a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm going to debarb that. And I'm going to use a Saluda bead, a countersunk, 2.3 millimeters in nickel or black. We'll go ahead and get that on the hook. that in the vise. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put some uh, lead free wire. I'm using .020 to get it even further down into the down to the bottom. I'm going to do about 10 racks. Kind of wiggle that. And I'm going to try to break this off or you can wrap it around the hook. And I'm going to push that up against the bead. The thread I'm going to use is some A dot in yellow. And I'm going to start that right back here behind the create a dam back here. I think I need to readjust my thing. Kind of lock. 
lock everything in place. And I don't know what's wrong with me today. that'll stay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little ball of dubbing and I'm going to use uh, some awesome possum and golden stone right there right here. Just going to take a little bit out. So I can put a ball right behind there. It helps play the goose biots that we're going to put there. I'm going to use some amber or orange colored goose biot. You could probably do turkey. You're going to only need two for the little tail. And I'm going to go ahead and put one in at a time. you can see that but there's like a angle I'm gonna do it so that it's splaying away from the from there we want this to be roughly a hook shank in length okay, position it down here Put a yellow one on the far side, about the same length. Go ahead and clip off this excess stuff. Next, we're going to use some uh, yellow dyed peasant tail for uh, the back and uh, the wing buds. I don't know, 15, maybe 20 fibers.
trim off the tips. Yeah. We'll go ahead and tie that on top. We're going to use some more of that dubbing to create uh, some more of that body, but to only about the midpoint. Midpoint of the body there. Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta tie in some uh, brassy brassy gold wire. Almost created a problem here. Gotta have some ribbing back there. And that reminds me, I almost forgot the other part, you know, they're, uh, they're kind of flat, these stone fly nymphs, so we want to squeeze that lead weight down, make it a little broader. All right, I'm forgetting everything today. Maybe if you don't forget about started that dubbing anyway there. A little bit more. I might be close, but a little bit more wouldn't hurt. All right, and we'll pull our peacock curl over. making sure it stays on top. Give the give it some ribs three or maybe four.
Then we'll put another little bit more dubbing on there. You might only want to go half, half of that. You want to put like what looks like two wing, wing cases. Buds, wing cases. And we'll put a little bit more dubbing on and then fold that over. Trim that off. <sighs> and give it a wet finish. And then we're going to put a little bit of UV on the top for the two wing cases, give it a little shiny job or make it a little bit durable. Kind of raise it a bit using some thick UV resin. I'm going to take my botkin and pull out some wings here. And there you have it. A quick little uh, golden stone stonefly nymph there. All right. Tie up a few. We'll talk about it in a little, little bit here. That was a struggle. Um, anyway, got it done. Might have to add some stuff to show you my mistakes or maybe hide them I don't know but uh, give it a try tie this up you know it should be a, a good a good fly for uh, a stone fly nymph uh, the next three flies that we'll tie for the South Carolina trip will be uh, some uh, dry flies so uh, anyway Hopefully, if you want to come on the trip, you'll reach out and we'll send out the information to you. If you still got some beds available, and uh, it's three nights. But uh, 
that's it we will see on the water let's get tying and fish